What's up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. For those of you who don't know who I am, my name is James and I like clothes and well-made things. Today I want to go over one year review of my Blackstock and Weber horse bit loafers. In this video I'm going to go over everything you need to know and then at the end I'm going to share with you an experience that I had that's going to make me a customer for life. Let's get into the loafers. So these are the Mason Crocodile Embossed Horse Bit Loafers. Long name, great shoe. I've had these for about a year now and overall the experience has been really, really positive. For those of you who are not familiar with Blackstock and Weber, they are a loafer company out of New York. Most of the product is going to be made in Portugal or England. Definitely check out the website before you kind of buy. The year that I've had them has been really enjoyable. They are a full 360 Goodyear welted loafer with a double stacked leather heel. So they've got kind of a more chunkier feel than you would an Alden or something along those lines. I compare them to like a really elevated Doc Martin or Solivare. Obviously they don't have air soles, but that same kind of chunk and oversized feel, which I really like. If you look at the heel, it's a full stacked leather heel. And then if you look at the sole, it's like I said, it's a double stacked leather sole. The upper itself is a crocodile embossed. It's just a calf skin that's embossed with crocodile. If you look on the inside, it's got the Blackstock and Weber kind of logo. The lining adds a really kind of fun too, just to have that yellow lining is just really kind of cool. So over the last year, they've actually been wearing in quite well. The break in period on them hasn't been really difficult for me. I'm kind of weird with shoes. I kind of just put them on and deal with it. I don't have issues typically with blistering or with the heel being too tight. I don't know if it's because of the sports that I played in high school and college, or if it's just because I got weird feet or not weird feet, I don't know. But the break-in has been really great. I can wear them pretty much the whole day. I would say an eight hour day walking around, grabbing groceries, doing stuff like that. As far as wearing goes, they're holding up. These things are tank. This is like a shoe that you're gonna have like for the rest of your life. So you'll see around the toe box that I've got, or around the toe, I've got some wearing in there. You're starting to see where it's kind of come through, where you're gonna see the stitching. And then the heel drag area of it hasn't been bad at all. I mean, really actually is pretty good. And then around the heel, you'll see where I kind of kicked myself and, and left some dents. As far as the leather breaking goes, just because these are embossed, it's hard to see like the graining, but they're breaking in really, really well. And they've actually just been really comfortable to wear. Highly recommend getting them if that's something that you're interested in and just having an elevated version of a Doc Martin or something like that. I've already given you like a bunch of things that I kind of like, but I'll go over a few different other things. I love the contrast of the black with the green and then the yellow. It allows you to kind of wear it a few different ways. You can wear it with jeans, you can wear it with like a gray suit, you can wear it with a black suit, you can dress it up, you can dress it down. Just a really good elevated kind of do everything shoe. This one obviously being the green is a bit harder, but if you were to get a black or I would recommend getting the brown if you're looking to have like a real versatile shoe, but amazing for that kind of situation. Now I wanna get into sizing. So over the last few videos, I did a video, uh, my one month review, and then I think I did a three month review. I don't remember exactly, but I'll leave the links right here. Sizing is pretty easy for me. So these are a seven and a half sizing. The website itself says go down one full size from your sneaker. And I would say go one full size down from like your Adidas sneaker or like your Solomon sneaker. I wear a Nike nine and if I wore an eight in these, they'd be on the looser side, but still comfortable. But I wear an eight and a half Adidas or uh, New Balance. So I would go that size, go a size down from that. I would say if like you're a 40 or a 40.5, go with a seven and a half. If you're a 41, go with a full size above that, go with a, you know, a, a, an eight and a half. I know it's difficult because they're direct to consumer. They don't have stores and stuff like that. So it is something to consider. They are, as far as sizing goes, on the wider side though. So if you've got a pair of Aldens on like the Van Last, or if you're wearing like just a traditional pair of Weegeons or something like that, they are definitely wider. I would say that like where you have a traditional D width, these feel more like an E width. So if you do have narrower, longer feet, definitely something to kind of consider. Also, I have to use a shoehorn every time I put them on, where my other loafers I can kind of get on without them. These are a tighter shoe around the vamp and around the heel. Sizing is pretty easy. Again, I'm an eight and a half like Adidas. 
Adidas and I got a seven and a half in these. They say go a full size down from your sneaker. I would recommend going like a size and a half down from your Nike and then maybe a half a size down from what you wear for like a boot. So as far as me personally, I wear them with pretty much everything. Like I'm a jeans guy. I like to wear raw denim. These are perfect for like a nice pair of raw denim, but also during like the fall days or anything like that, I wear a suit five days for work. So I like wearing these with like a nice gray suit. It adds a pop of color. They are a bit round. So if you are worried about your feet looking small, like I have pretty small feet. I'm like a 40, 40 and a half. They are big and round. So just be prepared for that. If you're a guy that likes a slim, long shoe, this is probably not the shoe for you. I just really like the aesthetic of them. I think they're super versatile. We had a gentleman come in the other day and he had to have been in his like 50s and he was wearing the gray, uh, the brown ones and they looked amazing on him. And if you live if you live in like New York where it snows or, or Chicago where it snows, like the Vibram bottom ones are like perfect because you can just wear those all year round. You can have a chunky shoe during the summer and then like a real good shoe to wear during the winter. So like you can't go wrong with that. Again, I'll just do like nice pair of jeans. I'll, I'll do some slacks. I will do shorts with some long socks just to kind of give it that like my Bodhi shorts with that I think would look killer with these. Just add a pop of fun and a pop of color. Can't go wrong with that. But now I want to go over with you a customer service thing that I had to deal with. This was a bit of a unique concept. So I was at work probably, I don't know, a month ago, five weeks ago, and I was walking around and all of a sudden the shoe got really loose. And I'm like, what the heck happened? So I looked down and that happened. Needless to say, I was a little upset. I'm like, man, that sucks. Like I haven't barely had these for a year. All of a sudden the horse bit just pops on it. I'm like, something like that shouldn't happen. I do have super high arches, so I completely understand like the fact that the like horse bit pop because there's probably so much pressure on it. But I was like, man, that shouldn't have happened. For me, when I buy a product, I always base it off how the company reacts to the problem. I'm not gonna just assume that, oh, they're done and they're lost. I'm not, and I'm not gonna just brush it off. So I shot them a DM and about four ish hours later, which was like super impressive, they told me to reach out to their customer service team. There was like an email that I had to send. And about a day after that, I received an email like, you know, being super empathetic, super apologetic. And, you know, when I got the DM from Instagram, there he was like, you're good, they'll take care of you. And that was exactly the case. They just shot me, you know, asked for my address. They told me that they're gonna send horse bits in like a couple weeks. And then about probably two weeks after that, maybe three weeks after that, I got the horse bits, which is actually really cool. Like the fact that they were like super quick with that, you know, they could have easily said, oh, you've had them for a year, they pop, like that's not something that's up to us. We're not li liable for that. And, you know, basically just tell me to go fly a kite, but they sent me the horse bits and I thought that was super, super nice. And for that, I, I believe I'm gonna be a customer of theirs for life. However, I do need to figure out how to put these on. They told me to go to a cobbler. So if you look at the loafer, it looks like they're gonna have to take off the, the vamp right here. So if they take off off the vamp and then what they're gonna have to do is stick it in there we'll see how it goes I'll keep you updated through the whole process I'll shoot a kind of another like part two of my one-year review with black sock and Weber's loafers you know that was really impressive and I was super super happy with that so now let's go over whether I would buy them again and the answer is 100% yes so I've come to the conclusion that like value for money these are amazing loafer listen I'm not gonna sit there and say that like a shell quarter than pair Crockett and Jones or John Lobbs is not better than these because let's be honest like handmade by an artisan that's probably 50 years and you know different different things though but value for money for you know around 400 380 whatever dollars these are bulletproof loafers that you're going to be able to wear every single day you're going to really enjoy them they're a good alternative to a doc martin if you're like you know what the doc martin is a bit young for me or just not my vibe anymore i want something a bit more elevated or a bit more refined but i also want to be able to wear them to like a wedding or to a funeral or to work or something these are perfect Perfect for that. 100%. I think I'm gonna end up getting the pair of brown ones in the next couple weeks, couple months. Highly recommend them. I think they're an amazing value for money. I think they're worth the price, and I am definitely a customer for life. So that's all I have for today. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below. I hope I answered all your questions. If not, you know, leave a comment below. But I'll see you soon. Goodbye.